We're going to talk about the correct use of the joiner. First and foremost, you want to look at your stock. Check the stock for loose cracks, splits, checks, knots, anything that's going to come in contact with the joiner blade. In this instance, you can see here we have a staple. In the wood here, you want to pull that out. With this piece of wood right here, next thing we're going to do is check for the grain direction. The best way to check for grain direction is look for where the grain meets in a knot or where it runs off the edge of the board. In this case, the grain is running in this direction. You want to follow the grain with the joiner. So we want to push this end through the joiner first, keeping it flat against the fence and against the table. Before you do anything, you want to check your fence. Make sure that it's 90 degrees to your table. You can see my fence is a little bit off here, so I'm going to loosen these up, pull my fence back until it's 90 degrees to the table. Got our second piece of wood here. On this piece of wood, the grain is pretty straight, so it really doesn't matter which direction you go. However, you can see that there's a concave edge down here. This is where the joiner is. The purpose of the joiner is to remove this concave edge and give us a flat, straight edge to use with our other tools. So basically what you want to do, if you've set your fence to 90 degrees, you've checked for loose grain splits, knots, and checks. Set up your fence to be 90 degrees again. You want to put this concave side down. Turn the joiner on. Keep both hands above the stock. Push through it. Now, as you can see or hear from the joiner, it hit the spot in two spots. It hit the first low spot here and then the second low spot, which is pretty flat there. It missed the entire concave spot. You continue to run the stock through the joiner until you hear one continuous noise throughout the entire thing. Once you hear that continuous noise, you know that you have a flat, straight edge, 90 degrees to the table. 